The mass exodus from Florida's Gulf Coast is underway, with Hurricane Milton exploding into a once-in-a-lifetime storm less than two weeks after Hurricane Helene hit the state. This is the oddest weather predicament that there has ever been, so I can't believe that there's already another one. Milton strengthened from a Category 1 storm to a Category 5 in just a few hours Monday. It has dropped 50 millibars in 10 hours. Um, I apologize. This is just horrific. The storm weakened overnight and is forecast to make landfall as a still dangerous Category 3 sometime Wednesday night or early Thursday near Tampa Bay. 15 inches of rain is possible. This is the storm of the century and we need to be preparing for this storm. Officials in Tampa warning residents to not let their guard down and to take evacuation orders seriously as life-threatening storm surge of 10 to 15 feet is expected. This is going to an, be an event like none other. Uh, Helene was mostly a water event for us. Uh, this is going to be wind, water, storm surge, rain, you name it. It's going to bring everything towards our community. Airports in Tampa and Orlando shutting down operations Tuesday. Schools in at least 20 counties will close starting Tuesday as well. In Central Florida, people rush to prepare, filling up sandbags and stocking up on supplies. Just in terms of preparation, you just got to do what you can early and it is what it is, right? And at least 10 counties are under evacuation orders. Some gas stations running dry, but the governor insists there is enough supply. We can't control how strong or how weak it gets. The only thing that, that you can affect is what you do and the decisions you make to protect yourself and your families. Another urgent concern is the debris from Hurricane Helene, still piled up in coastal communities. Governor DeSantis ordering landfills to be open around the clock to help speed clean. All right, shalom, shalom. First off and foremost, as always, I want to say, call Lam La Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, the Balana being to the elder apostles, a great millstone that do rule and teach well. And they shall allow to you, I came out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit and through the power and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Okay, so this is going to be a quick lesson. You know, uh, just touching on the topic of, you know, uh, the Lord visiting the earth through these hurricanes. Okay. You had a hurricane Helene that just, uh, you know, uh, you know, went through, uh, you know, uh, Florida, I believe parts of the Carolinas, you know, and, um, and, you know, now you have, you know, uh, uh less than two weeks. You know, another hurricane, you know, Hurricane Milton that's going to, you know, go through Florida, uh, you know, again, you know, and um, they're saying that this is going to be a really, you know, devastating, um, you know, a hurricane, you know, and, um, you know, yeah, man, this is the Lord, you know, this is nothing more than Yahweh Shemal Shai visiting the earth, you know. Because you have to realize that we're living in the end days and, you know, um, you know, we're seeing things happen, you know, happen, you know, um, how can I say this? You know, we're seeing the signs, you know, pick up a little more, you know, upwards, of, you know, um, you know, and what's some of the signs upwards of the people, you know, um, um, Excuse me, earthquakes in diverse places, you know, pestilences, you know, um, you know, wars and rumors of wars, you know, pursuant to the book of Matthew 24, you know, these are the signs that Yahweh Shai told us about, you know, and, uh, you know, and through these uh, two major hurricanes that are about to, excuse me, through what well, the first one, Haleen already hit, but the second one, Hurricane Milton that has yet to come, you know, this is, these are, this is another example of Yahweh Bashim Shai facing the earth, you know? So we're living in beautiful times, 
you know, and uh, and Laura's will, I can, uh, you know, incorporate, you know, some um, post uh, post production within this lesson, you know, just to put in a couple of news clips and whatnot, you know, just to, you know, uh, you know, give a good visual, man. OK, because. Um, yeah, man, this, we live definitely live in the last days. All right. So, you know, like I said, it's going to be a quick lesson, nothing uh, too crazy. But uh, this is Second Edges 9 and verse 1. It says, he answered me then and said, <clears throat> measure thou the time diligently in itself. You know, and, you know, and how do we do that? You know, by keeping a close watch on prophecy. You know, keeping a close watch on what's going around the world, man. Because, you know, uh, every day something's happening. You know, every second, every hour, you know, there's something going on that, that, that we can talk about. Okay, pertaining to prophecy. You know, uh, whether it's by watching, you know, a brother's video, by, you know, uh, looking up an article or, you know, uh, prophecy, prophecy searching. You know, that's what I call it. You know, and um, yeah, man, we definitely living in, you know, very serious times. And it says, and when thou seest part of the science past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You see, so the Lord is clearly visiting, you know, the earth, you know, through the, you know, you know, in a, in a, a prime example, case that point through this hurricane, okay. And this is, and and they were saying, in which you know, uh, I can get the uh, news clip. They were saying like it's a Category Five hurricane, and you know that's huge, okay. That's very huge, man. All right. So, let's go to uh, Isaiah twenty nine and six. All right, and it says. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and, and great noise. You see, the Lord says thou shalt be visited of the Lord. So this, this right here proves that this is all the Lord is doing. Okay. The scriptures say that, <clears throat> excuse me. The scriptures say that, you know, the earth is the Lord's footstool. Okay. And these people out here, you know, they're very proud. You know, they you know they you know they don't believe in a higher power, you see. So, you know, because they're so caught up in, you know, the lifestyle in Babylon that, you know, the Christian has forgot that there's a higher power that is over them, you know? But the pride of man has, you know, uh deceived them, right? So it says, That shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder, right, and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest. Right. And, and in less than two weeks, they're going to there's going to be a, 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 a another huge um, tempest, you know, Hurricane Milton. All right. And the tempest is, is, a, is a great, you know, it's a, 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 a violent wind, a violent storm. OK. Now, just for further edification, we go into the word tempest. Right. It means a storm or a a, a, a whirlwind. Right. A hurricane. This, that's actually what it says, a hurricane. So right here is another example, another huge example. OK, in less than two weeks of, you know, the Lord visiting, you know, his, this planet. OK, and it says that shall be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise. All right. You know, earthquakes happening, great noise with storm and tempests. And the flame of devouring fire, and ultimately, what's that? That's the that's the uh, the uh, uh, the nuclear destruction. Okay, because the um, you know the uh, the final the final you know uh, scenario of Babylon being you know in power, you know is is going to be this place being destroyed by a fire. You know, that's why it says well, and, and it says this you know. You know, multiple precepts, but the one that comes to mind is Revelation 18, when it says uh, that Babylon shall be thrown down by violence and shall be found no more at all. You know, that's talking about, you know, World War Three, the third woe. OK, so this place is going to go down in flames. 
All right. But before, you know, ultimately is, you know, destroyed, things are going to happen within, you know, and one of the things that's going to happen within is case of point, this uh, the, the Lord visiting the earth through, you know, this uh, tempest, you know. So, yeah, man, there you have it. OK, you know, how about small shies visiting the earth, you know, clearly, you know, and um, yeah, man. This is a this is very huge. I never seen it before in my life. You know, back to back hurricanes. You know, at the same spot. You know, Florida. You know, is going to go through. Uh, I believe it's going to reach um, down to. I could be I could be wrong, but like the the, the Carolinas and it's going to flash flood in you know in Georgia. You know, so yeah, man, this is a uh, you know very serious man. We live in in the, the end days, and you know you know the Lord is clearly showing us that. You know, he's about to return, okay? So with that being said, I just want to say, call Lam La, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kawadash, double honors being to the elder apostles, the great millstone that do rule and teach well. And it shall allow to you, I out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kawadash. And Lord's road, the Lord's sheep was fed and edified.